Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Grace. Today we are finishing season one of Heartstopper. I am very excited and once again I am also very nervous. I'm nervous because episode seven is called Bully and I, I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that name. I don't know what that means. Is it going to be more bullying for Charlie? Or like, is it going to be bullying for Nick or Tao? Or I don't know. I don't know. And I'm nervous. <laughs> but I will pull on my, my fighting gloves and I will fight anybody who tries to hurt my little baby beans because I love them. They're all in my pockets. I'm protecting all of them. I loved the last two episodes. I had so much fun watching them. We had, well, <laughs> not the whole time. There were some some heavier, some more intense uh, emotions and, and moments going on between uh, the friends, all of our friends in our friend group. But we got a lot of like development. We got a lot of really great progress and, and like relationship dynamics between a whole bunch of different characters and um and I really loved I loved how much deeper they got in these last two episodes and how um like things really are starting to progress but I really enjoyed the last two episodes and I'm very excited to see how things are gonna resolve at the end of this oh we have to tell Tao about we have to tell Tao that Nick and Charlie are together. I don't know how he's gonna handle that. I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope that's not, I <laughs> I'm just, all of my anxiety is just being channeled into this show right now. We're gonna dive in and we're gonna tackle my TV show anxiety today and we are going to finish season one of Heartstopper starting with season one, episode seven called bully. Nobody better bully my babies. I'm gonna fight them. Where are you going? Nick's invite me around to the cinema with his friends. Oh no, not with his, his friends? His friends? Who? Harry? Uh. Actually, we're, me and Nick, we're kind of going out. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> you can't tell anyone though. He's not even up to his mum. I know, I know. I'm happy for you. Aww. I feel like we don't ever see her, really. Just like in little like bits and pieces. But I like her. She seems like supportive and like a good big sister. So is he your boyfriend? We're not ready to label it yet. We just, you know. You know. Shut up. Well done though. Your crush on him was super embarrassing. <laughs> oh God, I'm so nervous. I was wondering if you wanted to come over. Just to hang out. Oh gosh, we're doing a flashback to Ben. Since we're boyfriends. What? We're not boyfriends. Oh. Why would you think we're boyfriends? Oh no. Oh. That's why he doesn't want to label it. Charlie. Yeah? If any of those boys says anything, does anything nasty, you just call me, okay? Yeah. Dad'll beat him up. Me too. <laughs> Look at how he like nuzzles into his neck when they hug. That's so cute. You'll be fine. Ben and Harry aren't coming. Oh good. Okay. Then I'm fine. <laughs> the two people I didn't want there aren't gonna be there. We're good. <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Why is Harry here? Oh. <laughs> fuck you, Ben. I'm gonna kill him. Char. Are you okay? We called him Char. Char. Yeah, that was really cute. Uh, wow, that just slipped out. Oh my god, say it again. No, go on. No. I like it. It's cute. No, I'm never calling you it again. Rude. What are they watching? Something spooky? Yes, clearly. <laughs> They're so cute. So, Charlie's free. 
quick question. What's it like being gay? <laughs> hey, Harry, quick question. What's it like sucking? You do sound so gay, but that's it. <sighs> I'm so angry. What about Nick? He's <sighs> I'm gonna kill someone. <laughs> you definitely have a crush on him. Nice. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Just stop. Oh. Wow. Take a joke, mate. It's not funny. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. Harry was being a complete idiot, and some of the others were being really unfriendly. And I should have just left, Nick. I'm honestly used to it by now. Oh, I feel so bad for Nick because I feel like, oh, because like I know that he doesn't really want to hang around them anymore because of the way that they act like this. Oh, God. Charlie. Ben, shut, Ben, get the fuck out of here. I saw you holding hands with them. Okay. In the cinema. Fuck off, Ben. Are you going out with them then? It's none of your fucking business. Why do you care? Well, I believe that you're not going out with him. As if anyone would ever want to go out with someone as desperate as you. <sighs> You did. Are you joking? Ha! You actually thought I liked you. You were just there like some tragic loser with barely any friends who ate lunch alone every day and let bullies walk all over you. I never liked you. I'm not even gay. I just felt really sorry for you. You're the one who came on to him. Oh my Charlie. god. Ready to go. Hey dad, run him over. Run Ben over, please. <clears throat> Fuck you, Ben. I'm so angry. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Go on then, what's your problem with Charlie? <laughs> he doesn't exactly fit in with us, does he? Oh, cause he's not an asshole? Or a homophobic piece of shit? You can't just bring some gay boy into our group and expect us all to meet me love him. <laughs> so this is a problem with him being gay? Come on, none of us are being homophobic. You literally are! He just saw the perfect opportunity to make someone feel miserable and humiliated, as usual. I'm sure he can deal with it. Well, he's probably used to it by now. That's not a good thing! You're getting so angry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> punch, him. punch him. Punch him. Punch him. He's a pathetic oh. little. Oh. 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 I am shaking. I am so angry. I've never wanted to punch someone more in my whole life. And I'm very glad that Nick punched him. I, ho, oh, oh, hmm. Harry, you cannot use a slur right after you say you're not homophobic. That's literally not how it works. So are you gonna tell me what happened? <sighs> yeah, mom, um, really Harry's a piece of shit. Oh, Nikki, come on, baby. How oh, Nelly. Nasty stuff about Charlie. Oh. Really gross and mean about him for ages, and I just his voice is shaking in that oh. I lost it. Cause you're a good person. Angry at myself for not seeing that all my friends suck. You, talk, you know, fighting's not the answer. I know. Yeah, but it's the only way it's gonna get through to Harry right now. Charlie's a really special friend, isn't he? I love his mom. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm angry and I'm sad. I'm not having a fun time, you guys. What the fuck was Ben's reasoning for coming up to Charlie like that? I genuinely, I don't know. Look at how, s he looks so sad. I can't handle it. We were so happy at the end of the, oh, no. Hi. Oh. What happened? Oh, um, yeah, I, I kind of got into a fight with Harry. I just lost it. And punched him and yeah. I'm so nervous. He didn't have to do that. Babies. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. You used to people saying stuff about me. But, but it doesn't be. just affect you anymore. It affects him too. You in the first place. You shouldn't have to put up with anything like yeah. that. Yeah. I'm gonna cry. Neither one of them needs to apologize to the other one. With those people, don't you? Yeah. I don't expect you to dump your friends for me. He's not doing it for you, and he's doing it because they suck.
like, how the fuck can nobody do anything about Harry? Are you kidding me? Like, and so f it's so frustrating and it's so upsetting and like I'm literally like getting annoyed to the point where I'm like gonna start crying because it's just so sad because this shit happens in real life and I'm not surprised Nick started a fight with him if Pyra's being a dick to Charlie of course is Elle gonna be the one to tell him? wait it is, isn't that? yeah they're going out Okay, how do we feel about this towel? Are you okay with it? Who else knows? Uh, everyone? When did he tell you? Oh. Milkshake cafe. Was that? It was ages ago. Oh, that was a long time ago? Oh no. I feel so stupid. Oh. I should go. My mom's probably waiting. No. Oh. Everything's going wrong. I'm not having fun. What's going on? No, don't say that. No, Tao. Don't say that. Everything's breaking my heart. Right, mate. <sighs> Tao and L. Who's L? Just give it back. Aw. Did your girlfriend, George? Just give it back now. Come we... <sighs> I, oh, I hate him. Oh my God, I hate him. Oh my God. I hate you. I do too. I mean, the fight with Harry was my fault. No, it wasn't, baby. What are you doing? No. I've been making your life really difficult. Charlie, stop. What are you doing? So I was thinking. No. Maybe it would be better. Uh uh. If, I don't know. If we just. Um. Come on. Apparently, Harry Green's fighting somebody at 10 by the picnic table. <gasps> No. Okay, honestly, Tao throwing the drink on him, iconic. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. No. I'm so stressed. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh what happened? Why didn't you tell me about you and Nick? What? I thought we were friends, but I guess you just forgotten about me. Oh. Tao, this is all your fault. Just leave me alone. I'm so sad. What's happening? I don't understand why they had to do this to me. I don't, I don't like it. I'm not having a good time. Oh my God. Okay, that episode just broke my heart. I was just angry and sad the whole time. Was Charlie trying to break up with Nick at the end? No, I'm not okay with that. He's just trying to protect him. I just, <sighs> oh my God, I'm, I can't even process what just happened. I genuinely don't see how we can end this in a happy way after what we just watched. That's the second to last episode. We have one episode left. How are we gonna have a happy ending? The only positive is that episode eight is called Boyfriend. So I hope it's a good, I hope it's a happy ending. I don't know what I can handle after that. Oh, I feel so bad for Tao and Charlie and Nick. They're all going through so much, but they just need to talk to each other. Did something happen? Didn't you hear about Harry Green's fight with Nick and Tao? Both my fault, by the way. It's yeah. not I'm your not fault. 95% sure they were both Harry's fault. Yeah! I love that we have a sweet, supportive older sister. Going out with this other guy. I liked him, but... He was a piece of shit. He made me feel like I was ruining his life. And that's why he wanted to break up with Charlie, Nick, who, you know, who I'm talking about. It'd be better if I didn't exist. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I can't. I'm actually gonna cry. You're ruining my life. Yeah. Thanks. I could make us some pizza for dinner. Pizza would help. Would that help? Yeah. I'm not very hungry. 
You oh, should. Just eat no, you should eat pizza with your sister. <laughs> oh, it just broke my heart. Tao. I heard Harry got suspended for fighting, so that's good. He said he doesn't want to talk to you. Oh, I hate that Isaac's being dragged into the middle of it because, like, Isaac really didn't have any part of it, but they're both his friends. Ugh. Hey. Hey. Did you want to get lunch together? Um. Don't pull away. Don't pull away, Charlie. Was Nick gonna go over to Tao? Where's Charlie? I thought he'd be here. I thought he was eating with you. He's pulling away from everyone. I was so worried about him joining the rugby team and becoming friends with you because I knew that he'd get picked on by some of the idiots in your year. And guess what? He did. I'm done trying to protect him when he's forgotten I exist. He hasn't though. I deserve to be appreciated. You are appreciated. He just told me that you two were going out like... He just wanted to protect Nick. Maybe I would have Nick. done things differently. Maybe I would have stayed more low-key and Harry would have left us alone. Everyone's blaming themselves. It's all Harry's fault. He really cares about your opinion. Yeah. Because he loves you a lot. I'll believe that when I actually see it. We needed to have this conversation ages ago, okay? Elle, how you feeling? Are you sure you want to go back to Trinity? Because you don't have to. We could all pretend to have sprained ankles or something. <laughs> all three of us. Yep. <laughs> Do we have some sort of group ankle-related acts? Yep. No. I, I want to do this. I love Elle. She's so beautiful and brave and strong, and I love her. And I love her with Tara and Darcy. That made me happy. Mr. Jai? Charlie, there aren't any sports day events going on in the art block. We're having a repeat of last year. Isolating yourself, not talking to anyone. No. Yes. And when I was at school, I thought that hiding from it all was safer, easier. But sometimes the loneliness was just as bad. Yeah. Don't let anyone make you disappear, Charlie. Yeah. I love that. He's a good teacher. I'm so glad that Charlie has him. Tell Sue. Oh no. <laughs> you are the only year ten who has failed to sign up for an event. Yes. You'll be doing the 200 meters for. <laughs> oh no! He used to run. <laughs> Wait, his running for the last time is so cute. Stop memes with me. What? Why? You hate running, I'll run it for you. Thanks. You obsessed with me or something? Hey, Ben, fuck off. How about that? You ever tried be not being a piece of shit? Charlie's gonna crush him in this race. Cause no one can beat Charlie. <laughs> go, Charlie, go. Make all of them eat your dust. I don't know what's going on. Oh, uh, why is he going over to Ben? You don't get to have an opinion about anything I do. Yeah! Do you want me to go around telling people about you and Nick? Do you want me to go around telling people about me and you? Oh! Fuck you, Except ben. I wouldn't do that because I'm a decent person. Yeah! I understand and you suck, that ben. you're figuring out your sexuality. But you don't get to make me feel like crap anymore just because you hate yourself. So leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Charlie's an icon. We love Charlie. That was iconic. I loved every second of that. I'm so no, sorry. No, I'm sorry. I should have been that friend. Okay, no hug. I should have gotten angry at you. I love that they're making up. Yay, friend! I made it so hard for you to tell me. I should have been looking out for you as much as you were looking out for me. Me and Al were going to go exploring around all her old classrooms. Do you want to come? No. Nah. You go, I'll be fine. You need to find Nick. You need to find Nick and talk to Nick. She made up with your babies. The seagulls! Like, like that's what that's what Nick had at the end of the first episode. Is that a good sign or a bad sign? I don't know. Does that mean anything? Is it awful being at Chamber without me? Yes. <laughs> Everything's awful without you. They're so cute. Are they gonna have a moment? Are they having a moment? I was gonna tell you something. <gasps> Is she gonna tell him? Is she gonna tell him that she likes him? Look at the little butterflies. 
You've got the wrong team's face paint on. <sighs> Look at the way he's looking at her. So is something gonna happen? Are they gonna have a moment? Are they gonna kiss? Wait, is something happening? Something's happening, right? The butterflies were towels? What the butterflies were towels animation? We were so close. Okay, is something gonna happen? Oh, he's not playing. Oh, right, he quit. <gasps> he's looking for him. Hi, Nick. Yeah. Yeah, fine. Go, Nick. You can do it. Proud of you. happening what's oh I love this what's happening the little flowers what's going on he's walking away oh my god he's running to Charlie oh my god oh my god is he gonna kiss him in front of everyone oh my god what's happening What's happening? <laughs> Imogen's like, I understand now. Oh, and she's smiling for them. I love that for them. He just grabbed his hand and said, Let, we're leaving. I don't want to break up. Yeah, <laughs> me neither. I know people have hurt you and you feel like I'd be better off without you, but I need you to know that my life is way better because I met you. <laughs> and I'll keep on saying it until you believe me. I don't care about getting into fights or pissing off my mates or anything like that. It's all worth it to be with you. The kindest, most thoughtful and caring and an amazing person in the whole world. And if you really want to break up, then I would respect your decision. But I want us to be together. Nick. You're my favorite person. Nick. I need you to believe me. Nick. I believe you. I love them. I love them so much. I love them so much. Oh my god. Oh, that's the most beautiful speech. That was beautiful. I loved that. We're in the corridor. Oh. So what? You free on Sunday? Yeah. Because we're boyfriends? We're nearly there, I promise. Where are they going? Wait. I hear seagulls. seagulls. They're at the beach. Oh my god, the beach. They're at the beach. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love it. This is so cute. I love it so much. What if I came out? Are you ready for that? I really want to. I really want to. Ah. I'm definitely bisexual. And I don't want to have to sneak around pretending we're platonic BFFs. <laughs> I want to tell the people who matter. Yeah. And I want you to be able to tell people too. Oh my God, I love, I love you so them. much. <laughs> I love them so much. I love liking you. <laughs> That's so cute. Are you kidding me? I like Charlie Spring in a romantic way, not just a friend way. <laughs> Oh, and he got his shoes all wet. Just to yell at the sea that he loves Charlie. That he likes, well, he loves liking Charlie. I never Charlie. thought this would happen to me. Oh, baby boy. Me neither. They look like they have the best hugs with each other. Does this mean we're boyfriends? <laughs> of course. Yes. Was that already like, established the last 10 times you've made out? <laughs> what, what, uh, what are you doing? There you go. <laughs> You're my They're so cute. I'm your boyfriend. We're boyfriends. <laughs> They're boyfriends. Is he going to come out to his mom? Very smiley. If you had a good day. 
Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. I love his mom. mom. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know Charlie's like my best friend. If you're going to ask if he can come on our Menorca holiday this year, the answer's no, because I've already booked the ticket. No, that's, um, that's not what I was going to say. He's my boyfriend. I'm so proud of him. Charlie's my boyfriend. I, I still like girls, but um, I like boys too. Thank you for telling me. She's the best. You don't have to say you like girls if you don't. No, I am. Um, it's definitely not just guys. I am. Um, it's, it's called bisexuality. If you've heard of that. I have heard of that. <laughs> How long have you known? Since he met Charlie. Me and Charlie started going out a couple months ago, but I started liking him way before that. Oh, I my babies. You. <laughs> that was really beautiful. <laughs> and I'm crying again. <laughs> I'm really glad that that was really beautiful. <laughs> Look at them. Ugh. That's so cute. And it's the leaves, and the leaves were the first one that they that happened in the beginning of the show. I loved that. That was so cute. Okay. Oh my god. Cut to the very beginning of me starting this show, being like, I'm not gonna cry, it's a happy fun time. And I, and I cried like three times watching this these last two episodes. Oh my gosh, okay. That was Heartstopper season one. Okay, we got our happy ending, but it took us a minute, okay? It took us a very long time to get there. These last two episodes, they were playing with my heart. They were, they were, oh, I, I was so, that, oh God, episode seven, that, that's a hard episode to watch. Oh, wow. So this show as a whole, I really, really enjoyed it. I kind of went into it thinking that it wasn't really going to be targeted towards me just because I felt like it was kind of a younger queer show. I don't know what gave me that impression, but um, but I, I kind of went into it just thinking like, oh, it'll be fun, it'll be cute. It's like a, a first love kind of story. I loved all of the inclusivity that they brought into it. I loved that they told different aspects of the story kind of from other people's perspectives, like in in the sense that you would see the animations for each person like throughout the series. And I liked that they kind of like jumped around with that. I liked that it wasn't all from like Charlie's point of view. I loved the characters in the show. I think that they had some really fully developed like complex characters. As much as I hate <laughs> Ben and and Harry like they are fully fledged complex characters they're just not nice people in the show I loved Imogen I loved Isaac um Imogen honestly I think Imogen might have been my favorite like minor character of the show because she made me laugh more than anybody else she she did a phenomenal job because her delivery is was perfect it was just I think she did an incredible job playing Imogen. It was so, it was so fun. I love that it had bisexual representation. All of the, the media, all of the shows and, and movies that I was exposed to growing up that had LGBTQ plus representation, a lot of it had a lot of bi erasure in it. A lot of it, especially when it came to male characters who were like, maybe I'm bisexual. It was like, no, that's just a phase. You'll grow out of it. You'll learn that you only like guys. Even just in having Charlie say in that very first episode, like, bisexual people exist, like, that in and of itself is so important to have. And it's so, like, special that that is the, like, mindset of this show. And then to have Nick be a bisexual character and um and at the end where he's like 
try he's like educating his mom he's like i will educate you on bisexuality if you need it have you heard of it that's what i am yeah it just it warms my heart with all of the the heaviness and the the bad stuff from episode seven it unfortunately it's all real and it is important to show that side of it too because it shows how you can get to the other end how yeah you can go through those really dark times but you can always come out of it um and i'm gonna start crying thinking about the show <laughs> about it again um yeah i didn't expect to get so invested in the show i didn't expect to be so moved by the show but yeah i didn't know much of the storyline other than it was like a love story i'm so happy i finally watched the show I like truly am very excited for season two now and I'm like so happy to have you guys along the ride for it with me. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this journey of watching Heartstopper for the first time. I had so much fun. I hope you guys had fun. Definitely make sure you subscribe and stick around because we are going to be watching season two when it comes out in August and I'm very excited about that. I will be experiencing it all for the first time alongside you guys. Um, I won't be two years late to the train the way that I was with season one, but I'm very excited and I, I, I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I had a good time. I hope you guys had a good time. And happy Pride Month once again. I hope you all had a wonderful, happy, safe June. A wonderful, happy, safe Pride Month. And um, yeah, you are valid. You are loved. And I will see you all next time.